<laughs> Hi, my name is James Clem and I'm Caleb Witted. You know, Caleb, I call him the gentle giant. He's also my bouncer too, you know, it's, right? Sure. Yeah, it, he's great. I love working with my team here and there are other team members that I really enjoy, but we're going to talk about calibration today. Caleb is in charge of keeping our units calibrated. That's both the Omnicam, the Blue Cam, and of course we have the MCXL. In fact, we have six of them here. So you stay busy with that. But the question is, when do we calibrate? Hmm, how often do you calibrate your milling unit? See, in California, we have earthquakes, don't we? Or maybe if you're in the desert and your air conditioning goes off or you have a blackout of your energy, then your unit may get really hot and then it's gonna change the dimensions, you know, those fine dimensions because our milling unit has a sensor of about seven microns. It accounts for the wear and tear on the burrs. So if we don't have that calibrated, maybe our restorations aren't gonna fit the way we want them. The basic rule for calibration for your MCXL is if you're moving it or if you have an earthquake, <laughs> make sure you go back and calibrate it. And uh, Caleb's going to walk you through that. Uh, these are calibration, um, what, what do we call these? Uh, calibration bodies. Good. It's a calibration body and there's a large one and a small one. And I hold these because it's kind of like playing with toys, tinker toys, but they're a little more sophisticated than that, aren't they? And we're, Caleb's going to walk you through the process because your unit may have one of these, but they both work, don't they? Mm -hmm. uh, and I really appreciate Caleb here because um, I really rely on Caleb to make sure our systems run smooth, and they do. So I'm going to have you walk through that process, okay. and you'll feel better about life once you know how to calibrate your MCXL. So, for calibrating your milling unit, you'll bring down the step menu, go to configuration, select devices, uh, select the milling unit you need to calibrate. You'll hit uh, calibrate on the bottom. And then depending on what type of milling unit you have, there's two different uh, calibration bodies. One's a little smaller, and that'll fit into your chuck just like a normal block. You drop it in there, tighten it down, you'll hit the start button after you have your calibration pins in. Uh, for the other type of milling units, you have a calibration body. It's a little bit uh, bigger. You actually have to take out the inner sleeve from the chuck. So you'll loosen that up, take out the inner sleeve. Uh, stick this guy in there, tighten it down, and then you'll hit start uh, once you have the calibration pins in again. So start here. And then once we're done, we'll just uh, put the sleeve back in if you took it out. Yeah, put everything back where you got it so you can keep track of it and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.